Well, hello there, everyone out there. It is your lovely host here. It is Team Riot Riot right here. The one and only Team Riot Riot on social media. Don't forget that. So, if you follow me on my other social media accounts, thank you very much. But if not, follow me. I have TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, my own Facebook page. Thank you for the support. If you're wondering how can you follow me, those links will always will be down below. The article will be down below or the link. So uh, hopefully everyone is doing great on this one. Sorry, I was going to say Wednesday's edition. The total botch on this Sunday's edition. So stay positive, wash your flipping hands, and wear a mask if Sorry, if it's required. My bad. Okay? I lost my train of thought at first. So let's get this started. And I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax. Put your feet up. Grab something to eat. Grab something to drink. Now, if you don't do like that, maybe you want to show like a villain. And hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject. And of course, the article will be down below or the link will be down below. Let's roll this. Now, do you guys remember Nexus when he first debuted? It was an awesome group. Very interesting. The leader was way better. And actually, it happened on this day. June the 7th, 2010. 10 years today. I cannot believe 10 years in the making. And of course, that summer, SummerSlam 2010, John Cena beat the crap out of every member of the Nexus. And that was very disappointed. Even, I mentioned this before, Randy Orton and Edge was very upset with John Cena at the time. Because John Cena loves to bury people left and right. It is ridiculous, you know? It's so stupid, you know? I think if they could go back in time, of course that never happens, but if they could re re do history in Dewey. Let the Nexus win that match and all that other stuff. And of course, that never happened, you know. I wonder what's the original plan of that match. You know, we would never know. I never did like John Cena since day one, okay. It's so, you know, I know he came a long way. He's a WWE Future Hall of Famer, of course. I think he sucks up to McMahon. That's why he gets all these opportunities. He does Make-A-Wish Foundation. Doesn't other WWE superstars want to do it? Probably they, they do, but all the kids want John Cena for some reason. There's nothing wrong with that. You know? Okay. The Nexus group made their debut in WWE when... Dewey did an invasion angle on an episode of Raw. Way Barrett, who was the leader of the group, took to Twitter to remember it was written by the following. Ten years ago today, June the 7th, 2010, thank you for another seven men who helped make it happen. Now, you can just read the rest of it. Now, of course, he's not going to complain that John Cena buried the Nexus at SummerSlam 2010. Of course not. It was a great run. Don't get me wrong. I literally loved it. How the Nexus destroyed um, the ring. And the thing I don't like and still don't like. How Daniel Bryan did to Justin Roberts. Of course, Daniel Bryan got fired. But then they brought him back into the mix. So, I think Daniel Bryan went a little overboard with um, the announcer. I just lost my train of thought. Even um, 
Lucas met him, lucky guy. I think he worked for AEW. He was a very good announcer, Josh Roberts. And of course, I think it was a budget cut or his contract expired. They should just re-sign him for crying out loud. He was a very good announcer. I love his spirit, but now he's doing other things. Maybe in the future he'll come back to the movie. Probably not. So what's your thoughts? Did anyone ever bought any Nexus merchandise ever? Back in the day. Leave a comment down below. I'm assuming you can still buy that stuff on eBay. I don't know if you can still buy that stuff on W Shop. All that good stuff. Now, this is not really a wrestling news. I just like to discuss random stuff with wrestling topics. So, you know, I think, yeah, yeah, everyone's gone from the Nexus, I think, from this original group. You know, right back. Um, I forget what was his name originally, but on his own, he was a total bust. They want to make him the next version of Goldberg. That was a total... A bad idea. Way Barrett, he did his own thing. He was King Barrett. That was not very good. Then he had his own stupid group. Um, him, Seamus, and... Um... Um... um well, I'm, I'm sorry... Lana's wife, I mean, Lana's husband, um, I forgot, um, Russo, there you go, and that was a very stupid group, I don't like that, but this group was very interesting, back in 2010, no one thought that we would, sorry, no one thought that the fans like us, that we would ever pull this kind of trigger, everyone thought they're gonna, they're going to go to the next level. And of course, that never happened. You know, like, pussy envelope and all other stuff. Like, they did it back in the attitude where it never happened. Just that one episode, epic raw. So, what's your thoughts? What Way Bear had to say? And what did he say on Twitter? Everyone, I have, have a good one. And stay positive. And I'll be back tonight sometime. Do you guys like the Nexus? Do you miss the Nexus? Do you want to see it come back? The rumor was a post come back at WrestleMania 36, but due to the virus, it never happened. If they did come back, are they going to have the original members? Are the Nexus? I'm just wondering. Leave a comment down below and have a good one. Peace out.